What's up, guys? Welcome back to Tribute Speaks UFC. We are the champions of the MMA content creation world. The rest of the world is just contenders. All right, Leon Edwards will be fighting Colby Covington this weekend at UFC 296. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm pretty excited for this fight. This fight couldn't have came at a better time. The UFC has it's been quite a dud this year for the UFC. Um, they haven't been putting on the most entertaining cards. But that being said, they have tried. A lot of them have been scheduled but hell they just got canceled so what can you do about that it felt like this fight in particular uh it took forever to get here man i believe it was supposed to happen like in may or something like that leon edwards wanted a bit of a break because he came off of two hard training camps with kamaru usman so leon always has not been the most active fighter he never really was um colby covington also isn't the most active fighter so you got two of the most inactive fighters in ufc history fighting each other awesome that being said if you're a fan of mine or at least you've been watching the channel for a little while you know how i feel about leon edwards i believe that leon edwards is very underestimated um i have a couple videos on how this guy is very underrated and he, it's still happening people still look at leon edwards as just a striker leon edwards is not just a striker the guy has legit grappling the guy has legit clinch work the guy he honestly is a jack of all trades at this point the fact that you may still look at him as just a striker or you're looking at this matchup as a striker versus grappler match um means that you're not very good at reading in between the lines um sure i guess you could say because one has a very grappling heavy style and the other one mainly does like to keep it at range and kickbox with you i guess you could see it that way but when you look at leon edwards skill it's a bit more perplexing than what meets the surface i really want to get this point across in my opinion this is colby covington's last shot like this is it for him and what i mean by that is Colby Covington really got an early Christmas gift by the UFC because the dude does not deserve a title shot. The dude lost one fight and then won a fight against a 40-year-old Jorge Masvidal. Now he's getting a title fight. I get it, man. It's business at the end of the day. Colby Covington knows how to sell a fight. Um, that being said, um, the UFC is looking to make the big bucks sure why not so if that comes at the cost of the integrity of the sport why not but that being said i still recognize skill when i see it i'm not gonna lie colby covington has a pretty impressive resume when it comes to the senior citizen home i mean when it comes to retirement homes this guy is the undisputed king i mean really think about it if the ufc was just full of old guys i'm talking about elderly people 80 year olds people who already got their funerals planned colby covington would be the undisputed champ because that's all this guy beats is 40 year old men that's all this guy beats but but hey jokes aside i recognize skill when i see it colby covington's is, is, is a legit talent i'll give that to him um that being said i still do think that this guy has gotten to this point i believe this is his fourth time no third time sorry third time his third title fight in about three years that's crazy that's crazy and the dude has fought once each year but I, i'm not gonna lie time has never affected colby each time that we thought that it might he literally shown up and he's been the best version of himself Colby hasn't changed that much as a fighter. If anything, he's a little bit more defensive now. I mean, he's not as reckless and as sloppy as he once was as, as a young buck, that is. But however, I still do think he's going to implement the same game plan that he always does in each one of his fights. It is no shocker that Colby Covington is probably going to go in there, try to take Leon Edwards down, push the pace, get Leon Edwards to be a big gun shy box 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 shoot for takedown etc etc leon is gonna have to deal with that and i'm not gonna lie leon has not been the best when it comes to volume he's not been the best when it comes to volume typically that is his kryptonite because he's a one-shot sniper when i say one shot not saying he's a one-shot knockout artist but everything he does is with intent he doesn't he doesn't waste any movements if you make if that makes any sense um leon edwards is very technical and 
what you do with these more technical guys, you throw them off. You throw them off with pace and pressure. Obviously, Leon Edwards has a very good chance of winning this fight. Colby Covington, I'm not going to lie. If he loses this one, guys, I just don't see it in him to try and scale the mountain for a fourth time. I think if he loses this one, especially loses in a way that is going to be humiliating, let's say by like a one-shot KO or something bad, I, I just don't see him sticking around to try and be the best in the world anymore. Because, like I said, the UFC can't really afford, even if they wanted to, they can't sell to the public a fourth Colby Covington title shot. They just can't do it. This guy has made a career off losing close fights to Usman. That's the biggest and best thing he's ever done. That's the most impressive thing on his resume is almost being the best guy in the world. Almost. That curse could very much so come back to bite him in the ass again when he fights Leon Edwards and he could lose another close one. Because don't get it twisted. This fight is very close. Um... I could seriously see Colby Covington just hanging it up. I really do. Maybe staying away from the game for a while, coming back for a couple big fights and hanging it up. Or he might just hang it up immediately right after the fight. Um, because, I mean, there will be no point for him to really just stick around to do what? Just to take more damage? I mean, I think everybody's kind of going to have that same sentiment. I think a lot of people are riding the Kobe Covington wave because they believe that he could do it. I believe that he could do it too. Because as far as the fight goes, I mean, it's not going to be no cakewalk for him. Typically, Kobe is, Kobe is, this is a more favorable matchup for him simply because Leon does have a striking base. But Leon has been evolving, evolving his skills over the past few years. If you would have asked me um, how would this fight go maybe three or four years ago, I think maybe Colby probably would have ran through him because Colby would have been the more experienced guy at that time. Um, you know, his wrestling really would have been a weapon. Um, but now this fight is much closer. Um, mainly being Colby struggles to wrestle with guys who are much bigger and stronger than him. Not saying Leon is much bigger and stronger than him, but he is bigger and stronger than him. Um, Colby likes to uh, obviously wrestle and push that pressure, but how do you wrestle somebody who won't let you into range? Cause that is Leon's keys to victory is to keep Colby Covington at kicking range and sniping range. Anytime he tries to enter in counter with a knee or an elbow, get Colby in the clinch and slice his face open with elbows. That is, that is a brilliant game plan by Leon. Um, because Colby's really going to struggle with just trying to enter. However, with Leon Edwards' stance, the the leg will be right there for the taking. Will Colby just shoot for it? Colby is also, Leon's, Leon's kicks will, will also be very successful in this fight, considering the fact that Colby Covington doesn't catch kicks. And even if he, he doesn't often catch kicks. And I don't think that this is the opponent that he's just going to, that he should just try to. Um, the leg kick and the body kick will be open for him. I believe if Leon throws a lot of body kicks, it'll be more open to getting caught. Um, but his head kicks and all of that, I feel like that's going to be money all day long. Even if he hits arm, he's still causing damage with those kicks. Um, the teep kick and the, and the jab, all those weapons are just, it, I really am curious to see how Colby's going to deal with that because I'm like being honest Leon has to slow the fight down. That's the only way he wins. If he slows the fight down, he got this one in the bag. How does he do it? By keeping Kobe at range, keeping Kobe out of the boxing range, because that is where Kobe is going to be able to get the underhooks or be able to push him up against the cage, get to his hips and drag him down. The thing is, the difference between Kobe's wrestling and Usman's wrestling is that Kobe is pretty good if once he gets you there of keeping you there. But the thing is that Leon's hard to keep down. Gun to my head, if you ask me who's going to win, obviously I'd go with Colby because wrestling is a superpower in MMA. How so? Because you can't just wrestle, or you can't just have a couple years of wrestling experience at the highest level. Um, these guys have been wrestling since they've been five, six years old, man, and they're in their 30s. Like, that... That is going to be a weapon that you'll be able to use against 
nine out of ten of your opponents. I mean, it's that's how big that that's how big that advantage is. That's why these you can't just dip your toe in wrestling and expect to stop all of it. And now you're gonna be like trippy. It's not a wrestling match. It's a fight. I get it. Um, Leon can cause some serious damage. That's why over the years he's been improving this stuff. I think if he wants a serious way to win, he needs to wrestle back. I think that that will be a really good key to victory. What I mean by that is use some of that offensive grappling. When Colby Covington gets or tries to center you or gets you close to the cage, grab those underhooks and turn his back to the fence. That's really going to throw off anything he's going to try and do. You're the bigger, stronger guy. Impose your will on him. He won't know what to do. Uh, and then whenever you guys exit the clinch, obviously with the elbows, keep him at the end of your strikes. Once he tries to close that distance, turn him against the cage. Sure, that's not the most exciting way to win, but that it's still a win. It's still a win. My thing is, is that Kobe likes to throw those overhands. And the, whenever he ducks his head and he throws those overhands, you cannot tell whether it's going to be a takedown or it's going to be a punch. Kobe typically doesn't throw anything with throw much with with steam behind him, but when he throws those, you gotta respect it. Leon will obviously guard high, and then the hips are wide open or the legs are wide open. That way, Kobe can get his sneaky takedowns, and he's like glue once he gets a hold of you. Seen what he did to Jorge Masvidal. But the thing is, is that Leon and Jorge, Le Kobe being, uh, or Leon, or, no, sorry, Jorge, sorry guys, being the most recent win on Kobe's resume, um, you got to go based off that Kobe's probably going to look similar to the way he looked in that fight. Leon's not Jorge, man. Leon's not. Leon's bigger and stronger than Jorge, and he's in his absolute peak. We don't know if Kobe's still in his peak. We don't. Um, I don't think that Kobe's going to look much different. You know, you you do worry about his ability to take a shot at 36 years old. I mean, that's just given. But with that being said, I also think that Kobe himself, trying to manhandle a guy with the size advantage is going to be interesting considering Leon is pretty good at getting right back up against a bigger, stronger Usman. Colby is always one step ahead in the wrestling, but I mean, with, if Leon's just able just to get right back up when Colby tries to take him down, this could prove to be a really tough night for him. I want to know what you guys think. This is just my opinion. It's been your boy Trippy, and I'm out, man.